So this question starts off by providing us with this rational equation here. The question goes on to say an electric current contains three capacitors in a particular arrangement. The given equation relates the equivalent capacitance C of the arrangement to D, E, and F, the capacitances of the individual capacitors. All right, so they're using these words quite a bit just to kind of throw you off. Um, maybe you've heard about these words or learned about capacitors and capacitance at some point in physics. But I promise you, you will not need to remember any physics whatsoever in order to answer this question because this is SAT math. It's not SAT physics. Um, the question goes on to say, which equation correctly gives C in terms of D, E, and F, right? This is the real question, not whether you know what capacitors and capacitances are. It's just, can you take this and turn it into just a C equals equation? So that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to rewrite our original equation. And we're just going to step by step figure out how do we get C equals. So the first issue that I see here is that the, the variable that I want, the capital C, is in the denominator. There's one way to get rid of that, and that's by multiplying both sides of this equation by capital C. In doing so, it'll cross out on the left, leaving me with just one equals. And on the right, I'm going to leave it undistributed. So I'd have C parentheses 1 over D plus 1 over E plus 1 over F. So I did not distribute on the right-hand side because, again, I just want a single C. If I distribute it, I'll have three separate Cs, which I just, you know, creating a new problem for myself that I don't really need to have. So now what I can do is divide both sides by what's inside the parentheses here. So 1 over D plus 1 over E plus 1 over F. I divide both sides of my equation by that. So it crosses out on the right-hand side. And in essence, I'm just about done because I have now C alone, and then I have 1 over 1 over D plus 1 over E plus 1 over F. The issue is that when I look at my answer choices, I don't see this as an answer choice, which means I have more simplification to do. So let's try to, first of all, simplify this denominator. In order to simplify this denominator, I'd have to have a common denominator. Well, all three denominators are different. So I'm just going to multiply them together and say that my common denominator would be DEF. Right? DEF is what I expect to have. So what do I need to multiply by in order to get DEF? Well, if I multiply top and bottom here by EF, and this one would be by df, top and bottom. And this one would be by de. I can get away with doing that because in essence, I'm multiplying by one, right? EF over EF, DF over DF, DE over DE. So I'm not really changing anything. So let's see what happens now. I have C equals one over EF over DEF plus DF over DEF plus DE over D, E, F. All right. So again, because my denominators are the same down there now, I can write that as E, F plus D, F plus D, E all over D, E, F. So now I have a, compl I have a complex fraction. So I like to write these from vertical to horizontal. So I'll say I have 1 divided by E, F, plus df plus de all over def, which is the same as saying 1, right, times, if you remember, I can change this division into multiplication and then flip the second fraction to def over ef plus df plus de. And since it's just 1 times that, then that's really, this is just the answer, right? I don't really need the 1 the one isn't doing anything. So C is equal to DEF over EF plus DF plus DE. When I look at my answer choices, that looks a lot like choice D to me. So choice D is the correct answer to this question.